Hello, my Horde brethren and my Alliance friends. Today we are on the PTR and we will be talking specifically about Chromie time. This is Chromie in all of her mini glory, sitting on top of her hourglass. She lives within the Horde area in Orgrimmar in the Valley of Spirits right next to the Horde Embassy. So she is right here. Uh, on the Alliance side, she lives by the Stormwind Embassy, which is all the way up here. Um, she is to be used for this specifically, so this is one of the screens left from one of the previews that they did, so we are supposed to now, between 10 and 50, choose an expansion to level through. So that's BFA, Classic, Legion, Cataclysm, you name it, we can choose it. So what does that do and look like? So you get the quest to go see Chromie, talk to Chromie, hand it in, speak to her, and then say, let me choose where I want to go. You get this little pop UI which lets you choose whichever expansion you want now this is I don't I probably 100% agree with the way they've implemented this but without selecting any expansion at the moment if you have a look at the world map everywhere is kind of limited to at least in this region level 30 so as you level through you can kind of see you get to level 30 if you choose an expansion now so if we say uh, I think I pick Legion and have a look at the rest of the world, we can see that, the, well, I think you have to accept the breadcrumb quest, but if we see the rest of the world is now all leveled up to 50. So it doesn't matter where you pick. Anywhere that you seem to pick kind of gives you anywhere to level. You can go anywhere. But we do also have, when we pick a time, a filtered dungeon list. So we are now only offered dungeons for the expansion that we have chosen. And that seems to be the main thing that Chromie Time does when you select a region other than the initial breadcrumb quests. So here we can choose a dungeon, we can swap, change our expansion, and it will give us a completely different set of dungeons. So we've gone from Cataclysm over to Burning Crusade, and you will see on the Burning Crusade side, that's the ones that we have. And then we can switch back again to Cataclysm. Obviously the other thing that it does is gives you the breadcrumbs for the relevant areas. And obviously the scaling for the items and stuff like that. So... How do you get there? That, that's the question next on everyone's mind. So as a leveled character, so someone who has leveled through the normal old-fashioned zones, um, when you reach level 10, right here you can see you get the ability to... You normally get sent to Orgrimmar when you get to level 10. So when you end up in Orgrimmar, or Stormwind, depending on your fave little faction, you head over to the Warboard. The Warboard will have a set of quests, once I click it, and that's the quest for BFA. The set of quests, and it's Chromie's Call is on that quest log. You grab Chromie's Call, you accept that, and you head on up over to Chromie. This I found not to be the best leveling route. It's a bit slower um, than doing Exiles. Exiles is definitely the quickest option. You can see by the time is here how I'm doing against Split and I'm going to do a video probably on kind of the leveling starter zones, which ones do pan out the best, but we're not quite there yet. So when you finally get up towards Chromie, after the long walk, I should have used them out, <laughs> the long walk, you hand in and you're good to go at that point. So you, you hand in, you can do the standard select your timeline. To be fair, if you need to hand in there, you just get access to it. Select your timeline and you're away. The next option and probably by far the quickest option is just to make an allied race. So these guys start at level... Ooh, start level 10. Um, so you're literally in there straight away. You can just go get the quest straight over to Chromie. Jobs are good. Un. After that, your next ep option is leveling through exiles at the moment and i don't know if this is intended but at the moment there's a slight issue where the within exiles reach you have to you have to do the bfa storyline this is i mean this this feels like a bug this doesn't feel like it's how it should be so you go through you finish exiles reach you get flown out of exiles reach you go for a little quest line of getting your the amount and setting your hearthstone and all that good stuff and then you get called in by um Sylvanas on the Horde side, I don't know what the Alliance side quest looks like, I haven't done it yet, um, and get sent off to BFA. This is a slightly different starting intro to what you would get if you were to do BFA naturally, shall we say, um, rather than go through the whole, oh, you know, you're going to get stabbed in the back and get your potions and all the scenario stuff, because you've come through Exiles Reach, you skip it all. And you end up getting a wyvern that flies you straight over into BFA. Once you've hit BFA, you get the Exiles Reach achievement, which I think you should get it earlier. Then you could just Hearthstone back and you can go to the board or just wander straight over to Chromie. That unlocks it all. 
then and you're good from that point you can then choose whatever expansion you want to level through and level through it in in the way that you feel like you want to then we come on to the good bit yeah <laughs> the problems so this system could have been done i think more forced i think you should have been forced down the chromie route that's that's me personally um obviously everyone else might not agree i also think that when you choose a timeline that should be the timeline that you have to level Yes, it gives you the breadcrumb. I mean, in places on PTR, kind of not this build, the build before, it didn't even lead you down a road. I also think Cataclysm should give you Cataclysm, not everything else. Like, it, it levels for the whole the whole world, you know. It's not it's not Mount Hyjal, it's Durator. You know, it, it gives you kind of... Yes, it is all the Cataclysm, but it's not the... Cat when I say Cataclysm expansion, I think... Mount Hyjal, I think, Twilight Highlands and stuff like that. Uh, Twilight Highlands and Deep Home I've yet to test. I couldn't get into them. The The Breadcrumb Crest broke. I've tested that to a degree on PTR as of this latest build, and they seem to be breadcrumbs there now, so that seems to be working okay. But in my mind, realistically, it should be choose an expansion. That's the expansion you level through. Everything else is, you know, the levels are wrong and stuff like that, but it's not. You choose any expansion, every expansion levels up to your level. So it just seems to be like an, an overrated dungeon filter with a breadcrumb starter line. The, the other problem that I found with this is that it doesn't give you your suggested content correctly. So if you were to select Cataclysm, then have a look at your suggested content. The suggested content on Cataclysm gives you Pandaria as a selected option. It also gives you uh, items on the quest board, so on the warboard that are also not of your type so you'll see that here we have hellfire peninsula which is not part of the cataclysm expansion last time i checked um so there's work to be done and bits and bobs to do but this is kind of this build seems to be the best it's been it has been all over the show i, I think it's a good concept and i think it's a concept they're going to be able to use going forwards for other things and for the level and experience as a whole it's going to be a lot better definitely a lot better that's that's all i've got to say if you've made it this far then hats off to you thank you for staying thank you for watching um you can catch me on twitch i stream most days twitch.tv forward slash smoosha by the way and i hope you all have a great day thank you if you like what you saw remember to give us a like give us a subscribe and i'll catch you in game